Flory models, I'm Philip Flory. Today's build is going to be the Bandai's new 172nd Star Wars. Uh, this is T65 X Wing Fighter. Star Wars at its best. Okay, um, as some of you know, if you're watching along as we do these, as you can see, just finished the Sherman, just finished the Jacker as well. They're quite in depth builds. So, what I like to do to keep the old mojo going and all the rest of it is give myself a quick build project okay so and i think it, it just it keeps you going otherwise if you get from one big project to the next one to the next one you can get bogged down with it and you get sort of bored with it if you can do something that's a little bit quicker and have a bit of fun really at the same time it's absolutely great now these are the new tool um x wings uh, and obviously they're going to be doing the y wings a wings and all the rest that goes with it okay but in 70 seconds it's just a little bit of fun okay now when these first kits came out i was looking at them thinking they were sort of snapped together type kits and all the rest of it now we have reviewed it and we actually do like it it's just basically like the fine molds one um, and in some areas it's a lot better in other areas not quite as nice but generally for what you actually get here they are a lot of fun now these particular kits are more like snap together type kits you've still got multiple screws as you can see here but you know certainly from a modeling point of view they're not as much hard work shall we say as your traditional type of kit purely because these are designed for the junior model uh, or somebody sort of coming into the hobby something else like that rather than your hardcore who's into it but definitely from my point of view as a hardcore Star Wars fan I love it I think this is an absolute great kit as I said, there's not too much to it. It's basically just a few basic steps to run through. And as I say, you can put this in complete together without any glue, okay? It will go together glueless, okay? But obviously we will use a bit of glue here and there just to get it in. Basically, you're gonna throw it together because there's not many sort of options with this one. But then after it, what we're gonna do is spend a little bit of time painting, weathering, um, you know, and detailing up perhaps some areas, the actual X-Wing itself. And then we've got this great display base that it goes on as well. So let's get on. Okay, so here we go. So if you haven't seen uh, the way the instructions are done on these, they're done a little bit different to how you may normally know them. As you can probably see here, you've got a down part, then it shows you up here. Okay, then you go for the next part and it comes up. So it sort of sub assemblies as it talks it all its way through. So uh, I've cut all these bits off the sprue, as you can see down here. Cleanup is really simple. This plastic that they're actually made out of isn't your normal styrene. It's a tougher one, so it actually cleans up really, really easy. Now, obviously, because this is a type of snap-together kit, um, you might be thinking big gaps and everything else. Don't panic about it. There may be some little gaps in it, but generally, I think, you know, you're not even going to need glue for this lot to go together. So, looking at our old instructions, the first thing we can actually do is get these wing sections fitted in so you've got obviously pushing through the holes okay and you'll notice it's a tight old fit to get them in but the great thing is once they're in they are locked in so you're going to be making a mirrored set here and to be honest I've already done one already so I know my way around this one quite well so we just get those two halves in there then we've got these uh, under sections I don't which ones it is it's this one okay and uh, if we just remember it goes around, it's that way to the rear. Okay, and this little guy's gonna sit on the top, so he goes in there, you can then flip over. It's a bit odd because you're flipping over and reversing all the time on these. Uh, usual thing, if it doesn't fit, for whatever reason, you're pushing it and nothing seems to line up, it's probably a good reason. There's lots of clever little tabs uh, and little you know divots and things like that for them to all to go in and sort of lock in and line up with. If they don't, there's a very good reason to it. For instance, this one here, I had quite a bit. If you notice, you have a, a little slit in it in here, all right, as it drops in. The other side on the other one has multiple feet. So it just, it's got a, a different way of going in. And sometimes it's not you know obvious straight away which way around it goes. Again, like these lasers, on here you know if you put them around the wrong way uh, they won't actually push together like this you can see not quite going in there together all right so we just lift that one off grab the other side because they look identical as if they're a mirror but actually there is subtle differences throughout them all so here you go we have it the wrong way around so in like that then clips in no problem at all and you might notice we've got no problems with um, actual you know the joint is actually very very small it's absolutely tiny on these which is great now these are all laser guys on the end you've got these little things that's push on the end and the great thing is because these push on the end like this it then pushes it even stronger together which makes them absolutely fantastic again you can probably see the difference on the end here this little guy has got a little sorry having the right way up 
This little guy's got a tooth in it. This little guy doesn't. Okay, so there is a left and right and up and down to all of these because obviously you're making four in different locations and that's the difference. Again, this one's got the little tooth on it. So that one is just going to come in and pushes in and they all sort of go in and click in. All right, and it's the same with the engines as well. They're exactly the same type of business. So if you've got any problems with them, and I said minimal cleanup, you can see you've got little tiny gaps just down here. Just going to shave these off just a hair. My intention with all of this is, is to go around and check it together. Then we're going to have a look and just see what we might want to take care of. If anything, I've got a feeling this is going to be so good. We're going to need minimal glue because I'm going to glue it once it's all together. Okay, so we've got those in there like that. Just remembering which way around all of these various things go. So we've got these go in the end. And again, if you notice that pushed completely apart and everything, didn't like lining up at all. So we're going to try this guy. Okay. And actually that one's not liking it quite as much. So there's probably a very good reason to this. There we go. There it is, little click. That's the other thing as well. Sometimes things don't seem to line up, perhaps a little bit like that. And then all of a sudden you get in there, like there we've got a little gap and then click and it actually squeezes everything together and locks it in far, far better. Okay, so that's those little guys in there then. And then on the front here, as I say, it shows how good this goes together because I'm not actually looking at the instructions. I just remember how it goes from the other one. Okay, so then these go on like this, and they just push in the end, and we go down the other side, push in. Okay, so that's how we start again with those. We can put the laser cannons on if we want for the moment. Again, you put them on the wrong way, doesn't fit, doesn't line up. Try the other one, bang, no problem at all. Okay, so those we can pop on. And don't forget, the great thing about these is, because of the way that these are going in, again, that click, because the way these, there you go, so it's around the wrong way. So. All right. The way that it all, it's actually all going in, if there's any problems with it and it doesn't like it and it doesn't line up for whatever reasons, okay, then you know it's just around the wrong way and you can usually just flip it over and do it on the other side. Okay, so what we can do now, we've got so these guys gonna go on the front section here, we've got both of these. All right, <clears throat> so that's the one that's gonna come over. So this little guy goes in like this, fits on like that. Then we've got the compressor blade, actually you wanna put that in afterwards, getting a little bit ahead of myself. Okay. Anything is when you get it slightly wrong, but it's more like Lego. Okay, so then this little guy just gonna push on the end here. Push that one in, and the end goes over. And then this one will go in here. And the thing with it is, different type on the bottom here because it's actually the landing gear versus the top one doesn't have any landing gear type thing on it. Okay, so that one can just come in the top. We just snip this guy off, forgot to get him off. Okay. Again, absolute minimum cleanup on all these parts, which is absolute kudos to them. The gates are very, very fine. Okay, and this little guy is just going to go on the end. Just like that. Push in. Front goes on. And then we've got these little guys just down on the front face here. These little plates which just add detail. I'm going to push in and give us our X-Wing just like that. To be honest, we've done the other one already. Okay, so that's our 
the X wings all sorted. So theoretically now we can pop in together, and this gives us our X wing. Should push in just a little bit. There we go. Stiffens it right up, and there's our famous X wing section all done, workable, movable, and everything else like that. And as you can see, it's not too small. But just looking at it, as you can see. There's no glue. We haven't glued any of that and it's held together absolutely fantastic. And no giant joins and things where immediately you'd think perhaps, I know. But because this is great, because we can put it together as a whole, you can then just unpop it if you wanted to, to paint individual items and things like that. So that's the handy area with it. So there we go, that's the wing section done. Okay, so finishing off step four, we've got these little guys just down on here. So we have this one and the other one so i do believe it is this guy is going to fit into these locating type tabs back here so we're just making sure we have put it the right way around so it's gonna go in and it just fits in and what it does it just so you can't over extend the wings which is quite a nice touch and i assume we are just the same on the front again so it's just gonna come in and it's just gonna smooth out those internals so, okay, so that just locks those now into position, but again, it's not glued, so if you wanted to, you could zip it off and have no problem with that, okay? So, on with the actual, say, cockpit, <laughs> what you'd call it, the tub area itself. So, we've got a couple of little bits down in here. I'm to say, I'm not gonna paint them to start with, but never say never, all right? So, might come back and paint it, but I really don't think we're gonna have any need to. Okay, so it's just a case of fitting these in. Okay, seat goes in, control stick. Okay, sit that there, I'll just push that in by hand. All right, so that's those bits just in there like that, pretty straightforward, so not too bad detail. I don't think I'm gonna worry about painting it up purely because of the scale and everything we're dealing. Okay, so now we're down into five, so we've got this thing here, so we've got these pads on the outside. So I'm just making sure we have got the right one. I think it's that one. It's gonna go on the back. I'm hoping that these are tooled so you can't get them the wrong way. So we've got one on one side and one on the other. Okay, so these are actually gonna show through from the inside out, all right? So that's those on there. Then we've got this little guy here, which I do believe, if we get it the right way, I think it's that way around. Okay, can only go one way again very clever the way it's all locking in and onto itself and everything else like that so whilst those are there we've got i think it's these two here okay so we've got the long uh colored guy here so this one's just going to go onto these i do believe let's say it's just making sure we've got this one right because it's this side even just trying to work out which way around that these go Okay, so I'm thinking this little guy is going to come around to the front just to this section and this one must marry it up. It's going to be something like that. All right, then we've got these ones here which go down the side. So as you can see, you're making a flush area up on the side and then this one must do the other way. Okay, again, so straightforward, but really nice. It all just goes together so well. Okay, so that's those on there just like that, all right. So then what it actually calls out for is for this lower section to go up and lock in, okay. So we're just making sure we've got this around the right way. So the gear side downwards, all right. So then, again, I'm just making sure we're all good actually let's just close these up might be a bit better certainly a bit more of an easy fit that's going to push in just like that okay then cockpit section is going to go in the top and again it all locks itself in and i can say we're starting to take shape now just like so all right so that's that one in so that gets you part five done so just making sure we're all sturdy together because you can grip hold of it now and everything just like that looking a brilliant I must admit I'm loving this this is absolutely fantastic all right so there we go pretty straightforward no problems at all like that so we're talking it's time to take shape now 
Okay, so moving on with the next part. So from our point of view, we're not gonna put the pilot figure in quite yet, but we could come back to it if we want to. Just for the moment, we're just gonna stick the cockpit tub top on, making sure we line that up okay. Again, clicks in, pushes in. But obviously you couldn't get the figure in because his feet won't go in. But if you wanted to, by all means, you could pop him in while we're on the old destructions. Okay, so we've got the nose section is gonna go on the front. Okay, which I do believe goes with the pointy side up. Apparently, again, just goes in like that. Then we've got the actual torpedo racks on the side. So that's just one goes in one side and one goes in the other. Again, just making sure they all fit in, push in. A little bit of a gap on that one. Might need a tiny bit of glue now. We'll start to see a couple of little joins in here. But apart from that, we're okay, all right? So that's both of those on. So now we can put the top section on, okay? So again, clicking everywhere in. Just got to go to the inside. Okay, pretty good, all of that, no problem there. All right, so that's that on just like that. We can then slide in this rear section. Okay, all the way around. Go around that way in. Obviously you've got an R2 figure to go in there at some point. All right, then we can pop the back on just like this. And then it's just gonna be a case of putting in each section. One, and then this guy, the, the plate goes downwards or upwards, downwards. Okay, so that's the section on the back. All right, so we can just now fill in these guys here, I mean, which way around we go. Okay, so we've got the white section goes in there, then the red, okay, and then the white. And the red. Okay, and there's our X-wing definitely coming to life. Okay, might need a bit of glue around it, but I tell you, it's say we're unpainted, unglued, and going together absolutely fine, just like that there. Okay, so that's all pretty good. Then you've got the clear parts. All right, so there's a couple of options in here which we can talk about in a moment. So for the moment, if we just carefully get these off of the sprue. Okay. This last one's gonna be a little bit tricky to get off because it's quite a thick one, but it came away all right. So tiny little trim, just to trim him, just to tidy it up. Okay, now we have got options for this again. All right, now obviously we're gonna come in here and paint around, so we're just gonna do it as a soft fit for the moment, but we have the front and the canopy all on there. You also get this guy as well, okay, which is obviously an unglassed version of it, okay? So we'll look at that in a moment, but there we go, that's the, the glass section all on just like that, and that's the major construction part of it actually done because then on the other side basically what it does talks about the r2 unit you've got a choice of which one you want to go in there and then it's going to be a case of working in the gear from exactly what type of gear you want because actually it does come with uh landing gear or you can have it in flight on the actual display so you have got an option for both and obviously it does come with all the doors and all the accessories for either option okay so it's pretty straightforward on that front. Okay, this bit's gonna need a couple of little bits of cleanup, but we can show you on the gear. All right, so that's gonna go in there, then this one's gonna fit in here, I do believe. Okay, so we can have it if you wanted to with the gear on the front, just like this for the nose gear, then obviously there's main gear to go on it and well and everything else like that. So one of the last things to do, we can pop the nose on the front. 
Okay, and just see which nose it is, because we do get a choice of two. Okay, so we can have B1, which one's this one? That's four, that's 23. Hold on, slight technical issue with the nose. Four, D, 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 just checking on which version of the nose we've got. 23, okay. Kind of got a little bit to clean up again, but nothing massive. As I say, for an hour's work, it's a bit of a bargain. There we go. So, just for the moment, just for in your in flight, that is the X Wing built just like so. Very, very straightforward. All right, as I say, you've got this guy as well. So it depends if you want the more traditional no glass or sunglass in there for the sort of in-flight type one. If you wanted to, you could remove those two and actually fit that guy in, which locks in there. Then obviously we've got the, the laser cannons which are going to take a little bit just to get these out cleanly. Okay, but these are going to do a straightforward push bit into the end of these. So I'm just going around. So I'm going to put all these bits together, get the gear out and all the different things and show you the different options. Okay, so there we go, that is it down on its gear. So if we talk you through what we've got, what we've done and everything else, amazingly, there is still no glue whatsoever on here. And the, the really weird thing is there's no caps either. It's, it's quite, um, you know, phenomenal the way the actual the kit that goes together. It does tend to all pull in. Little things like the nose going on, pulls everything in so very, very tight. Now, underneath, as you can see, we've got it in the landing configuration. So we've got the actual, uh, the bay door open for the gear both sides but with a very very simple pull and say these are all click fitty apart from that one's pulled a little bit too well let me get the gear off of here okay there's one and two okay you can just whip the gear out you don't have to take off that part that's just popped off okay push those back in there we just take that canopy off because it's a quite a loose fit hopefully this guy will come out a little bit easier they're actually a really snug push fit down into here all right so that's the reason why those pop off so easily all right once you've got those off you can come along here we've got the doors in the closed position this time and then these if i've got them the right way around that way around just push in okay and become for the closed doors you also got a little peg in here if you wanted to to close up that bottom hole the nose one as well the doors just literally pop off they're just a push fit in and a very secure push fit okay and then you've got this little plate here now this to be honest is how i'm going to do uh this one okay that one there's got a little bit of a cleanup needed as i say the tabs as well are so fine that you just need a tiny little scrape clean and uh, you're off, or just a tiny little nip, and then you're off, you're good to go, all right? But that guy will just push down in there. Actually, I've probably found the only bit that isn't a perfect fit, but I think that's because I just need to do a little bit more cleanup. But there we go, that's it with the door shut. And then what you can actually do is you make up the stand. So the stand itself, okay, is dead simple. You've got this guy just obviously all clips together and comes up. If you didn't want to have it on here, you could have it so it's literally just a little pole, just like that. If you think it's all a little bit too close, obviously we're gonna have it in here. Uh, which way around do we want it that way? Get it in, there we go. These are on little tabs, and I'm assuming because they the way they link together, it looks like you could make more and more of them. But if you wanted to, you could have it as a standalone. All right, so then that just pushes in the bottom. Okay, don't forget the uh, S-walls all open up and everything like the real deal. Okay, so there we go, that's in the open. Canopies, you have two choices. You have the solid rim one, which is very much like the sort of film way of doing it, or you have got a opening working canopy in clear, which you could smoke the glass because depending on which version you look at, some had smoked glass, some had normal. I might just 
clip this in here and then pop it down and on. That clips in. Put in properly. There we go. And it locks down as well, so the canopy is in. And then, as I say, if you wanted to, you could have it in together. All right. So you can actually put these in as having one, or you could have a gap between them. All right. And then you've got the actual um, proton torpedoes sit just down there, which look like the sperm, which then give you that look as if it's just fired. These don't click in though. They are literally just a sit on the top fit. They're just on a clear bit and they sit just like that, which actually I think is fantastic. You also get, obviously we've got the R2 uh, unit on the top, but also you get the R5 as well, which is the square heady one you get. So you get two of those, you get a standing, figure and you've got a seated but remember like when we're doing the internals if you want to do them seated you have to put him in then the panel on the top but don't forget this can be dismantled totally um, and then you could put it all in different versions and everything else like that and there we go so if that's the way you want to do it and then if you're doing it with the kids and you're getting them into it and all the rest of it you get two types of decal sheet okay and you might notice this one looks horrible this is because this is stickers these are actually stickers down on here, which you peel off and then put on. And looking at them online, people who've done it just with the stickers, they look absolutely fantastic. And because you're partway sort of color coded with all of this, I'll just pop him off his stand, with the actual panels in, which are like, you know, part color, because normally it's red all the way down if you're doing it for sort of Luke's one. Um, but uh, technically, you know, this is a sort of generic a, a T65. But the thing is, you could get away with not actually painting it, all right? Obviously, we're gonna paint it into all the bits and pieces of weathering, but if you didn't want to for the kids, this is a great way to get them in because you have got a stunning model with no problem at all, and you pop them on there, you're all good to go. Bung it on the stand, and you're done. And literally, it's probably all together with the decals, no more than three hours worth to put this thing in. It really is that straightforward, very, very simple, very, very nice. From our point of view, obviously, we've got these, which is a fantastic decal sheet with some of the internals for the instrument panel, stuff like that, and that's the great thing is because it all comes apart, we can do it so we're going to do the base we're going to have it sort of in flight um, which is going to looking over probably not going to use the old sperm things because I don't think they look very good but certainly we'll have this guy you know on this type of thing pulling off as if he's you know just overshot the port um, with the x-things down and everything else like that so painting wise a little bit difficult the color call outs obviously down in here we're all in your sort of Japanese, uh, so you've got no idea what any of those say, but generally it's not too bad. The aircraft itself, um, or the ship itself, I should say, is this sort of off-white color. Now the box art gives you a fantastic way of doing it. And to be honest, this is the type of reference I'm going for. I think it's a beautiful piece of artwork. Uh, and I'm gonna sort of re try and recreate this with the different shades of panels and things like that um, as we've got it down here. Now obviously the decals themselves do a lot for the coloring as well. So if you didn't want to do the ones around the engines you know because obviously this is the one that goes on top of the engine unit you've got the ones for downsize the nose obviously the markings stuff like that obviously you could if you wanted to spray them on by hand I'm probably going to go down the deck away just going to do it over as an overall as you know general uh, decal it and then a little bit of weathering after it so the easiest way for me is I'm going to go around and see if anywhere needs gluing which I don't think does I'm going to leave it as a soffit definitely underneath so if at some point I wanted to take it off the stand and just have it um you know down somewhere with the gear I have got that option to do it which is quite a nice touch uh, and the same goes you know for the fact if you just wanted to have it any different direction the only thing is to say the laser cannons you know make sure you push them in properly because they do click once they're in properly and if you don't they tend to wobble all over the place like that one was doing it's now clicked in uh, and away you go all right so what we're going to do is i'm going to start off and we're going to spray it all over as a primer as well with generally just an xf53 now it's a very dark gray or sort of a mid gray compared with some of them and that's going to be our chipping base because when we look at the box art as you can see we've got the lumps and chunks all out of this one that's what i'm going to use as my sort of base color for everything going down there then we're going to come along with mask oil to do our chipping effect and chunks out of it and all the rest of it then we're going to go over it with a mix of x19 and x2 which if you remember when we did the star destroyer that's the base color i use for that as well then we lightened and and everything else like that sky gray 
grey probably lightened up if you're doing it down the old model colour route it's probably not a far off colour it has got that sort of grimy off-white grey colour which is what they look like more in the film than perhaps looking at the box art this seems to be more of a, a dirty white you know smoked up white when you look at the ones on the actual the films they tend to be this sort of um, model colour sky grey type of it's almost like a creamy whitey grey colour which I think that's pretty much a close colour to it all right but from our point of view we're going to go down the Tammy route with all of these and get on with these so what I'm going to do is for the moment just going to chuck a coat of paint rich over we're not going to do the canopy because we can do that as a separate but everywhere it's just going to get a coat of uh, xf 53 as a primer right the way through then we come together okay and we'll talk about chipping putting on the top coat of the paint and working our way through Thank <laughs> you. 